Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Git Crash Course. So, as you can see on my screen, in today's video, we are going to talk about these three things. First is add multiple files. Second is how to unstage a file. And third is how to discard a file. So basically three things, adding, adding multiple files through one command. As you know that we have been adding files through the file name, but now we'll do through one command and add the multiple files. And then how to unstage a file which has been staged and then how to discard changes that you have done in your working area. So before moving forward, I would like to request that if you have not subscribed my channel, please do so. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first of all, go here in your start button and then just look for git bash. Right click and run as an administrator. Once done, let's go over here and do a, let me see where we are, pwd, okay. Let us go inside the folder that we created, perfect. And then if I do ls over here, let's go inside the fresh project that we created, enter and do an ls over here. So we have a readme file over here, one.java, second.java, third.java. We have three Java files over here. So what we can do is, we can just go to the fresh project and create three more files. So now we'll create a fourth one, fifth one and a sixth one. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just create fourth dot Java. Yes. Okay. I think I changed something over here. So let me give an extension back. Perfect. And then I'll just make a change over here. This should be fifth dot Java. Perfect. And then this one should be sixth dot java so i'll just rename it you can press an f2 also and then sixth dot java perfect now what we'll see over here let me type git status and you can see there are three files that are untracked which means we are we are not added it to the staging area let me clear this now what we'll do instead of adding it one by one we'll add all of them just by one command which is git add dot or git add period enter no is a, no response is a good response so we do an ls over here all the files are here let's do git status and you can see there are three new files which is green which means that they are staged you can unstage them but let's not talk about that so now once you done do this git will recursively add any new or modified file to the git index or the staging area so when we did get status, it shows us that. So what we can do, we can just commit it like get not status, get commit will give hyphen m adding three new files. Enter. And you can see that it has it has uh, displayed a message of three files changed over here, zero instruction, zero deletions, and then three files and do an ls. Let me clear this. Now do a get status. And you can see that there is working tree is clean and there is nothing to commit. So we have six Java files over here. Now again, what we'll do, we'll just add one more file, copy this and give a name like seventh.java. So let's see what happens. Seventh dot Java. Okay. So here's my file. I think I've added one apostrophe extra, which I can remove right now. Perfect. Now once done, you can what you can do is you can type get status. You can see one tracked file which is red. And if you add it, git add. 7.java and then you type git status over here it is green which means that it has been added in the staging area now if you want to unstage it what will you do let me clear this now we'll do get status again to show you the changes and then i'll type git reset head and the file name and what's my file name is seventh dot java enter and now if you do the gift status you can see that the file which was green which was staged is now unstaged so my seventh dot java is now unstaged 
So this is how you do do it and you can reset the head of the file name. This is how you unstate. So let's go back just git add dot then it has been unstaged sorry stage so if i do a get status over here so it's green perfect then i can just get commit just give a number new file and just hit enter and i think my file is added so if i do a get status again over here it will say that my working tree is clean perfect just clear it now what we'll do is we'll do something very much interesting over here so if you can see there is a file known as readme.md. Let's open it. What does it show to you? There are two lines written over here. Okay. Now, if I go over here and do a cat, cat is a command to show what we need in the file. So I give the file name. You can see this is a readme file and this is a second line. Okay, perfect. This is expected. Now, if you want to make changes over here, let me copy this line. Just copy it paste it over here and instead of second just give a name third now you have made changes you have saved it it is blue which is means it is saved let's go over here let me pull it over here in my other screen now if i do a git status over here what happens it says that the readme.md file is unstaged and it is modified now what you can do is you can remove those changes from the working directory but before that, let me show you once again what are the lines that we are having. This is the new line that we added. Now you want to delete it before de even without touching the readme.md file. So how we'll do it? Let's understand that. The command that you'll use, let me just clear it. And I'll just cat it again so that you can see what is happening in front of you. Perfect. You have to type git checkout hyphen hyphen the file name and what was my file name readme.md hit enter and you can see there is there is no response which means no response is a good response so now when you did a git checkout the changes that you did in your working directory with respect to readme.md file is now reverted now if you will click on your readme.md file look what it shows so you can see as soon as i clicked on readme.md file it showed me that this file has been modified by other program which is this one so now if you cat over here the readme.md file what happens it will delete the third line and it will show you the two lines so it has removed the changes that we did manually just let's just reload it and you can see the line is gone so this is how it's done guys so I hope you have understood this guys and if there is any issue that you have not understood or something that I need to explain again, feel free to comment below. So we have studied about three things today and understood them. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.